Hey guys, this is Crisis from Team OGN, and it's 9.30 right now, and I just wanted to make a quick vlog kind of explaining about my new team, Team OGN, or Team Origin. Um, basically, it's this, it's this concept that I've been wanting to do for a while, where I just take a bunch of people from my town, and I make a competitive team, make some of them that have never even played competitive before in their life, and turn them all into competitive players, all through dedication and just, just stuff like that. Um... So basically what happened, um, I picked up uh, Dumsy and Nightmare right now, and we're trying to find a fourth, which has proven to be a little difficult. If you ever made a team just from people around your town, it's not the easiest thing in the world because not only do they have to be not really like completely skilled, but they got to be really, really dedicated, which is kind of hard to find, especially like in high school students because, you know, they got school and stuff. But, I mean, that's okay, though. I mean, I'm willing to work with them. And um, so I'm fortunate to have two players right now. We're going to be fighting for it soon. Yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, but anyway, though, I just kind of want to talk to you about the goals of this, what we're trying to do with OGN. Um, basically, like, our, our plan is to be scrimming by the end of break, of Christmas break, which we're all on Christmas break because we're all in high school, uh, which ends two weeks from now. And um, we want to be, yeah, getting into scrims by then. And from there, we kind of just want to do online tournaments. And our actually, our main goal is just kind of a little high, but we want to be able to attend eBash by summer, which is, that's kind of a high goal. Uh, you know, hey, we want to go to land by the end of, you know, not even a year. But I think it, I think it can definitely happen through, you know, all the dedication I have. Because I'm telling you right now, like, man, just for this past, like, week that we've been scrimming, you know, us three, we've gotten pretty freaking good, like, just at that, just us three. And we haven't even, like, we haven't found a fourth yet. So, you know, I think we definitely have uh, just as much of a chance as anyone else as uh, working our way up there. And even if, you know, because the goal is not to, you know, go pro. Uh, because I've had past teams, but, you know, that's, just, that's all the goal is. But the goal is to have a dedicated team and just try to work our way up the ladder and you know so by the time the next game comes around you know we already have our feet in the ground you know we already know what we're doing and we're just gonna hit the ground running from there um so the point of me really making this team was that last year i've had a i had a problem with the majority of competitive teams i was on and the problem was that every team i joined they always like end up sketching you know we have someone one tournament team i had last year was ridiculous um, we had two. We had uh, two players leave the team after getting second place in our first tournament. And mind you, we only scrimmed with this team for about three days. So that's kind of ridiculous. And I'm just sick of people doing that kind of crap. And I figure, you know, if these kids, when you take kids like the ones I'm taking, like Dumsy and Nightmare, they're they're dedicated. You know, I mean, they've never like played these big tournaments before. So I mean, yeah, you don't hats off to these kids that you know were trying to join my team last year and crap and like you know oh man you know I've got first place in a tournament before I don't think you're where I want to be because we got second place like you know screw you like that's just not where we're going with this team this team you know we're all dedicated I'm sure these um I'm, I'm positive you take these kind of kids and they'll be more appreciative of the game they'll be more appreciative of the fact that they're even on a dedicated team because I know I am like I just want to make a team like this this is a dream team for me to create a team that's like just straight from the ground solid and we can just kind of like do our own thing like i really like that i don't care about you know making six figures a year i don't want to be optic scumpy i don't want to be you know team caliber right now i want to be our team and i want to be just you know working from the ground up like we are right now so yeah that's pretty much it um this is our first vlog uh I, we will be posting videos hopefully soon uh, of gameplay um none of us actually have a capture card right now um we are team broke broke squad we have no money but we are working on trying to get some money for us for our crew and yeah you, you can follow us at twitter on twitter at team at ogn underscore team and from there you can follow us each individually if you want but basically this is this is a movement for me this is like taking what i've wanted to do for years and trying to put it to life like i tried this last year and it didn't really work out too well because there was not enough dedication, but I'm, I'm taking it this year a little bit slower. Like, I don't care how slow it takes me to get to where I want to get, I'm going to be able to do this. And also, another, uh, there's so many plus sides that having a, a team that you want to go to lands with from your area, like, you can just all hop in the car when you're going to land, you can all carpool, which, you know, it's just like, you know, hey, you know, let's go to land, rather than, you know, two days before land, someone tells you, hey, you know, I can't go to the land, like, that's bullshit. Like, I hate when people do that, it's ridiculous. But... 
um, yeah, so this is how this team's gonna go. It's our first vlog. Uh, but I'll keep you posted on our main Twitter page uh, at OGN underscore team, or you can just follow me on Twitter, uh, OGN underscore crisis, and I'll definitely keep you updated there. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later.